Hey Phil here. Beautiful morning on the north coast. Just out of interest, this uh, famous bridge, which nowadays hangs a big left up here. If you watch carefully in a very uh, famous movie, the track used to actually go straight up here. see what's left of the old the old posts that were there um, yeah so the track used to walk off the bridge and straight up through there nowadays it's to the left anyway. I don't rush anymore I used to rush in virtually run in now it's just a slow slow walk in anyway let's get fishing seriously there are so many unfished ledges that spot there would 100% be mackerel long tail, cobia, you name it, dew obviously in that washy era, but yet we all seem to just pile into the same pots year after year. Okay, so a bit of a dew fishing um, discussion. Uh, when spinning for dew, predominantly with me, it's plastics. This is exactly the scenario I'm looking for. You got, you know, little deep patches of water around the edges. But see those little sandy spots like there, there, and just through this zone here? That's actually where the dew will sit. And so basically that's where you want to be casting your plastics from whatever vantage point you can get. And literally just really subtly work them along the bottom. Nothing radical, just really slow. Just pretend you're fishing for flathead. And that's the secret to it. And then you'll get that peck. And then bang, and uh, you'll know all about it. But that whole area there has just got dewy potential. There's just consistent white water. It's never clearing out. They'll never sit in water down here, which just clears out with the odd wave over it. But that water through that zone there, and maybe in there with the sand cover, uh, they'll happily sit during the day and feed predominantly on tide changes, low or high. Um, I catch more fish at low, but I catch bigger fish at high, if that makes sense today been scoped this spot out um, and I'm really stoked because this is the third time I've fished it and uh, I actually had a bit of courage and just put a lure where I didn't really want to put one and uh, not because I was probably because I was worried about getting snagged but end of the day that's where the fish sit in the really really stirred up water 80 centimeter dew I just got out it's got a lure out of him he's pretty happy in there uh, just put him on the answer ruler. Look at that, straight. He knows exactly where the white water is in that rock pool because he knows that's where you've got to hide. Uh, star of the day is fishing. I do not want to be carrying this fish around with me. And uh, we'll just let him go. Nice fish, he's in great shape. It came out really easy. Um, lost a couple of scales coming up the rocks, nothing too major. And Minimise my handling. Come on, mate. There you go. There he goes. Up the gutter. Now. So this is a 91, a 91 centimetre jewel. It's actually the second fish I've caught here. Um, I've got like an 82, maybe 15 minutes before. They're sitting behind a rock and um, the tide's sort of heading below and they're just sitting in this one spot where they can hang near the rock and then they're in, the, they're in position where anything that's sucking out on the tide bait fish they can just ambush them. There's so much like barra when you do this. So I'm using like a 130 uh, millimeter soft plastic, pretty heavy lure. It's pretty much destroyed it, um, getting it out. This guy's good to go, so I'm gonna let him go. Um, you know. Not fishing for food, so I let him go. If you want more rock fishing, please subscribe to Phil Atkinson Fishing on YouTube, and I'll do my best. Ciao.